Hello and welcome to Architecy. It's often when you are dealing with the furniture placement in Revit, you don't have a proper family to place in. But on the other hand, you know the dimensions of the family you would like to place, but you have a hard time to find it. And it's quite common that you need something which I can call in this case parametric box, which can replace those families and help you out to fastly create those proposals. Therefore, I'm going to show you how you can create something I call parametric box, which can replace you a lot of things in Revit. And it's a quite simple or if I can say basic family in Revit. So let's just follow the process It's going to be step by step uh, i will be using revit 2024 and i really hope that this is something you will find very useful in that purpose i'm going to use metro generic model family and once it's open in a plan view i'm going to create two reference planes and we'll make two vertical one We'll use a dimension tool and then from here to the middle one and then to the right one and we'll just click equal so it make them equal and let's create two more reference planes and do the same. Then I'm going to make one dimension here so let's say it's going to be width and then the other one is going to be length. We will select the width dimension and let's go here to this small button, create parameter. And then I'm going to create parameter which is called width. I will keep it as a type parameter, you will see why. And we'll do the same for the length. And now if I go here to the family types and if I play with the parameters with actually the values so I can make this to be 1.8 meters, this to be 1.2, hit apply, so you see that this works. The next thing I'm going to do will be to create extrusion and just be aware that I'm going to use picking and once you pick and actually once you click on a reference plane you have to lock your constraints to the referent plane. Actually to lock your lines to the referent plane constraint. And I'm going to do for all four sides and then I'm going to use trim. And that's fine. Now let's go to 3D and just click fine. So this is how it looks in 3D we can uh, increase the height anytime but i would like to make the height parameter as well and you can do it here if you click on this small uh, square over here and then i'm just going to click this new parameter and we'll make height so now i can go and i can make height of 900 for example and you see So our box works well. Let me save as the family. Okay, now when the family is placed, I have the project open here. So what I'm going to do will be load into the project or if I have no family open, I can just go anytime, insert and load family and find the location where I saved it and then load it from there. In this case, because the both projects are open, I will just go load into project and then I'm going to use component, place a component and we'll find the one I just made and I'm going to place it. With hitting the space bar on a keyboard, I can rotate it. And let's say that I'm going to place this here. And now when it's placed, you see that I cannot change any of the sizes, actually any of the dimensions of, the, of our box. And if I go to edit type, you see that I have the uh, possibilities to do that. Uh, and the reason is because I made all the parameters as a type parameters. So this, re this means that if you would like to make, you know, the new box, which is 500, 500, 500, 
you have to make completely new type. Let's say that I'm going to make it like this. Let me just show you what I'm thinking. And then when we go to the family, we, you see that we have two different types. And you know, this could really make you troubles when you are when you are working with this because you know, it can create a lot of families underneath and then it's not something you would like to have. So let's just go back to the family and then click these family types here. So click on each of those parameters and then this pencil button. So instead of having them type, let's have them instance and let's realize and see what is the difference between type and instance parameters. I will just click fine and then I'm going to load it back and we'll take override the existing version and its parameter values. Now we have two of them, so it doesn't matter which one we take. You see that they are both going to work the same. And what's very good with this one, with the instance parameter, you have all those parameters under the properties palette, but you can also use those arrows and stretch it on the way you like. So also let's say that you know that this needs to be 2.1 meters, for example, in a length. 900 and then let's say in a, in a height 800 like a dining table and then I can just copy this one for example and I can make this to be a dining chair 450 450 450 something like this and I can then for example use array and then So you see how it's easy to operate with this parametric box and I really think that you can find it very useful. What is very important, they are uh, they're 3D objects, so if I select this and use the selection box, you see that we have them as a 3D objects as well, so it's not 2D lines and you can really take them and I really hope that this is going to help you with a lot of things in your projects. And what's very important, you saw the elementary way how to create a family and then from this you can really develop and make uh, more complex families. That was it for this tutorial. I really hope that uh, this is something which is going to be very useful for you. And please like and subscribe to our channel if you would like to support us.